it's very preliminary and I'll let law enforcement speak to motive and some of the findings of how and when the fire was set. That's what we believe at this time, that it was set specifically as an ambush to harm our responders. And it's uh, very concerning and, and we take it uh, very seriously and I'm just uh, very proud of the action they took at the time that they came under threat. Just before 4 a.m. this morning, Eugene Springfield fire crews responded to report of a working fire in Oakdale. Upon arrival, they initiated action at the scene and then were met with a gunfire from an assailant just down the street. They then took evasive action and then evacuated the area, calling for police assistance, and Springfield Police Department and Eugene Police Department then rendered the scene safe and allowed them to go back in and extinguish the fire. By that time, it extended to a third alarm. We had staged crews in a safe location out of the range of gunfire, and they were able to move in and extinguish the rest of the fire. In the end, uh, one assailant was deceased and none of the firefighters were injured. We're very thankful for their safety and they were very courageous in responding and then appropriately acting with each other's safety in mind, falling back to a safe location. And I think this is just a testament that uh, with the size of our community growing, we now um, have to face not only driving to the scene as a hazard, blood and bloodborne pathogens as a hazard, we have carcinogens and cancer as part of the hazard, but now we have uh, threats of violence as part of the hazards. We'll be looking at this very carefully. We'll be meeting with our safety committees and with our respective uh, work groups to make sure we have everything in, uh, that we can to make sure that it's the safest work environment to work in. And we're, again, we're just thankful for their safety today.